Hey, man. Is that good? Nah, take it over to the middle. Yes, sir. Yeah. All day long. All right, don't y'all get worried. I'm pastor, get ready to come up, man. It's 11.28. We're going to get out till 1 o'clock. No. Nope. <laughs> That's not going to be the case. I don't know. I stepped out. I don't know if my wife told you what I was going to preach on today. But um, we're in our Awaken series, and today we're going to talk about Awaken to Love. You know, how many of you Bible scholars know that 1 Corinthians 13 is the love chapter? Amen. Well, I'm going to share some of the love chapter. I'm going to dismiss y'all to go home. And if you want to hear the whole message about awakening to love, I'll see you next Sunday. But you know what? This, this is the thing about love. Why do we have to talk about love to the body of Christ? Because sometimes life causes us not to love. See, in your own strength, you can't love people that don't treat you right. Come on. In your own strength, you can't love people who, who don't act like you. In your own strength, you can't love people that have hurt you in your strength. But you don't have to do it in your strength. Come on. That's why God gave us the Holy Spirit. Yes. He strengthens us to be able to do that. This is one of the texts I'm going to share next week. The love chapter. And something about love. Matter of fact, in, in, in Timothy, at the end of that verse, we talked about power and love and sound mindness. That same love in that text is the same love it's in this text. And it's not an ordinary love. It's not a love that man can create in his own. But it's a love that only can come from God. So the only way you're going to be able to walk in this love is you're going to have to do it in God. That's the only way. I do want to share this, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to go into it deeper next week. But here Paul, in, in, in 1 Corinthians 13, it says, though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I have become sounding brass or a clanging cymbal. I can stop right there. I can stop right there. See, because there's a whole lot of us that speak in tongues. There's a whole lot of us that get the, the holy shape. But then we mean a junkyard bulldog. Come on. Come on. We treat people like they treat us. Turn the other cheek, what? You done lost your mind. No, I'm gonna get him back what they gave me. Sounding brass, clanging simple, and though I have the gift of prophecy, watch out. Oh, I can prophesy. And understand all mysteries and all knowledge. And though I have all faith, so that I can remove mountains, but have not love, I'm nothing. See, Paul understood something. He understood that love was the very foundation that he needed for every aspect of his life. Hey, look, he says, look. I'm nothing. He said, and though I bestow all my goods, look, I'm a giver. I love to support people. I love to do good things. But don't you cross me. Don't you mistreat me. And you better not mess with my family. Because I'm going to, you know how, I'm going to lay my, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to lay my religion down. <laughs> but I got a secret for you. What you laying down is not what God gave you anyway, because God didn't give you religion. Yes, <laughs> He's not a God of religion. Yes. See, he dealt with the religious rulers. He let them know. 
You know all the Bible. You know all the word. You know all the law. But you ain't got no love in your heart. You don't know me. Uh, though I bestow my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, I'm not going to sacrifice myself for God. But I ain't going to sacrifice myself for you. But have not love. It profits me nothing. And next week, this is what I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you understand how in the world can you do verses four through seven? Love suffers long. See, we don't have no patience with people. We got more patience with our animal that mess up our house than we do with our people. I'm going to leave that one alone because I know we got animal lovers in the house. I want y'all to think I'm not an animal lover because I love dogs too and cats and birds. and Why? Because they're God's creation. Love suffers long and is kind. Love does not envy. That means that, oh, because God blessed them, God didn't bless me. So I got this spirit now. I, 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 I'm not going to applaud what God did for you until God does it for me. That's why God haven't done it. Love is the key. Love does not parade itself. It's not puffed up. What is it? What are you talking about, Pastor Charles? Oh, because something happened good in your life. Now you want to make everybody life who hasn't gotten that way feel bad. <laughs> Look at me. God did it for me. But if you don't have a God will do it for you behind that, Come on. it's nothing. Because you should want and desire for the things that, the blessings of God that have been bestowed upon you to be bestowed upon your brother and your sister. Not feeling like, oh, too bad, so sorry. Didn't happen. Does not behave rudely. Uh oh. That's just who I am. My old self coming back. You can push me only so far. Because I, 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 I used to be a fighter when I was in the world. I just put the fight on hold for a moment. Don't you push me. Because I'll bring it back up. That ain't God. That's not the love of God. That's not the love we're talking about. See, understand something. The love of God is the type of love that when we failed, his prized possession, when we fell short, when we missed the mark, Instead of God saying, I don't know why I even made them. I'm just going to wipe them all away and do something else. Or I'm going to give their mantle to the trees because the trees always praise in me. But that's not what he did. Because of his love, he already had a plan laid out. So he could redeem that relationship not because he had to, because he loved to yeah. have relationship with us. Doesn't seek his own. It's not provoked. So you can't make, you know how you say, you made me do that. No, you didn't. You did it because it was in you. It's just truth. Doesn't seek his own. Self-seekers. I'm just trying to get mine. Don't worry about nobody else's. Is not provoked, thinks no evil, does not rejoice in iniquity. You know how people, some people love to see other people stumble and fall and come up short. Jesus. So you can shake the mm -hmm, mm, 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 finger. Oh, don't make no sense shaking my head when well, you should be going and encouraging them and praying for them to help them get back up. 
to let them know that that's not the end. That's not, God has something better for you. That's what love does. That's what love does. Bears all things. That means the weight of the world is on me. I got stuff going on in my family, stuff in my life, stuff. But you know what? God told me I don't have to carry those things. He told me to cast that stuff on him. So I can bear it. Why? Because I ain't carrying it. It might be hovering over top of me, but it ain't got me weighted down. Because I don't have to feel the weight of that. Love. So that way I got some love I can give to somebody else. But see, if I'm so overwhelmed with my stuff, I can't give nothing to nobody else. I can't love. I'm trying to find, I'm trying to find love myself. Can't get no love. Bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Verse 8 tops it off. Love never fails. Do you realize that love is the very foundation of everything else that exists? I'm going to show you next week. Come on, get up on your feet. If I start telling you now, I'm going to get in the message. I'm going to go ahead and preach the whole thing. (laughs) But it's the very foundation. I'm just going to leave you with this point here. The reason why is the very foundation is before there was a bird in the sky, before there was a fish floating in the sea, before there was a blade of grass coming up out of the ground, before there was a tree reaching up to give God praise, before man took his first breath, there was love. Why do I say that? Because there was God. Come on team, let me pray over you. Father, we thank you for all that you've done today. We thank you, God, for your glory that filled this place. And God, I pray today, God, that everything that was done is sealed by the power of the Holy Spirit. We ask you to go with us now as we get ready to leave this place, but not your presence. Continue to be with us. Bless us and keep us. Bring us back together again. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you all.